I'll just tell you a little bit about Woodland Hills. You know, we've had 12 guys go play in the NFL. Over 100 go into uh, Division One colleges on full scholarships. The other end of it's a lot more important. How you're developing the young men that you're coaching and making good citizens, good students. The boys to men program is great for that. Pretty open discussion. I think the coaches learned a different approach to it and the kids respected that. It's a changing world. You guys got a lot more things to face than we ever have. Social media is the biggest part of it. But I think our society does you a disservice on showing you how to be men. And one of the biggest key components of being a man is how you treat females. We would be doing you a very big disservice by not holding you accountable. You know, it takes about a half hour once a week where we go over uh, different topics. It hit on a lot of things about character and development and how to treat people, how to respect people. Well, Coaching Boys to Men is an amazing program. It helped change the discussion. We might talk about violence amongst each other, you know, balancing your community against another male. But we never took and had discussions on violence against women. You know, and that is something that our young guys are dealing with every day. In the Studentville case, uh, a lot of our guys came back and they said, Coach, well, I've been in situations like that. We have to put a stop to it. And I think it starts with us. It starts with the coaching staff. It starts with the community. The biggest thing boys and men taught me is no. The word no. You got to know how to use the word no and what no means. And when a girl says no, no means no. Bringing in coaching boys and men helped out a lot. It taught females and males about respect towards each other. And the words that are being spoken out of that pamphlet and just from people themselves have been a very big influence on people's lives. This is something that's happening in real life that we need to deal with and adjust to. Our guys are role models in the schools. Everybody looks up to the football players. So if we can get our guys to stand up for something different, I believe the other people in the school will see it and that'll start to change and then it'll lead outside.